Here with Northwestern State head baseball coach Lane Burrows. Coach, uh, welcome home. Uh, not the weekend you wanted it in Troy going one and three, but you got Sunday's game, and now you get to carry a little momentum into the home opener here at the Bistro. Uh, Jeff Stovall, the job he did sat, or Sunday to give you some momentum. Just first start in a Demons uniform, he turned in a quality performance for you. What a shot in the arm he gave us. Uh, bullpen was, we'd used a lot of guys, uh, a couple guys multiple times. So he came in, made some quality pitches. Uh, he was down in the zone and uh, very proud of him. Proud of our club. Obviously, we don't want to be one in three. But uh, I told our team after yesterday, we're a better baseball team today than we were Friday. And uh, we talk about that all the time. Let's get better every day. And if we're going to preach that, we need to live it. And uh, I feel like, um, we're a better baseball team today. Uh, schedule doesn't let up. I, I thought our guys played hard. Uh, we had our moments, and uh, we, we left a lot of runs out there. And uh, But all in all, it was a good opening weekend. Obviously, we'd rather be 3-1 and one than 1-3. One and three. Uh, That goes without saying. But uh, we're better today than we were Friday, and, and I think this club will respond and keep moving forward. But certainly after the way the first game of the doubleheader went, you've got to be proud of the mental approach they took because that's one that even early in the season could shut you down for the entire weekend. Yeah, you know, we, we played really well. I didn't think we played good Friday, and I don't want to take anything away from Troy. They got a good ball club and very well coached. But uh, Saturday in game one, we had a big lead, and, and I went all in. I went for the win, and it was my decision. We went with Brandon with one out, two outs in the seventh. Uh, he's our closer. He's been in that situation, and he has been extended before. He has no problem getting more than six outs. and. Uh, you know, we didn't get it done. And I told Brandon yesterday in front of the whole team, you're going back out there. I believe in him. And uh, it was uh, his first time out this year and uh, they beat us. And that, that's the way it goes. And I thought game two, we were kind of flat. Um, and, but we still had some moments. We barreled some balls up. Evan Tidwell uh, pitched really well on Saturday. Uh, Josh Oller pitched great in game one. And uh, I'm really proud of our starting pitching and a couple guys out of the pen and the way our older guys positionally responded and uh, we'll be okay. It's early and and uh, I like where we are right now. A couple of guys that seem to swing the bat pretty well throughout the uh, throughout the entire weekend. Court Brinson homered on Saturday. CJ Webster five RBIs in four games and four big ones Sunday. Uh, you guys did a really good job of taking advantage of their mistakes, putting pressure on them to force those mistakes and that seems to me to be the sign of a team that knows what it wants to do and also a veteran team that knows how to to make opponents pay for their mistakes. That's right. Uh, middle of the order guys, they drove the ball in the gaps and, and out of the yard. Uh, Court did the one time and our, you know, Nick Heath and Brett Underwood, they, uh, they used their weapons in their legs and uh, short game stuff. And I thought we executed the short game really well, uh, stole some bases and put some pressure on them. Every time we bunted uh, with Nick and a couple guys, uh, it kind of sped them up a little bit and, and that's what you want. So that uh, was encouraging to see. I thought from uh, Friday to Sunday, our quality of at-bats just uh, improved tremendously. I thought Friday night uh, we played tight and we didn't have really good at-bats. We didn't compete very well. And, but I thought as the weekend progressed, our at-bats got a lot better. Um, and like I said, we're, we're, uh, obviously we'd rather be 3-1, and one, but uh, we like where we are. We'll keep moving forward and uh, we'll, we got a quality opponent coming in here in a couple nights and another big weekend. Well, let's talk about that as we go forward. Louisiana Lafayette, uh, NCAA Super Regional participant a year ago. It's a different looking Raging Cajun team that's coming to the Bistro. Uh, they lost a lot of key parts, but Tony Robert shows one of those guys that's been around for 20 years down there. He knows how to reload. Uh, I, I respect the heck out of Robe. Uh, one of the best in the business, uh, Babineau, and now they got Jeremy in the mix. There's some still some pieces of the puzzle, that ball club from last year. They got a good team. They got a good program, a lot of history. Um, we respect them a, a lot. We're looking forward to competing against them. They're going to be ready. Uh, they didn't get off to a great start this weekend. I know they wanted to, and they're going to come in here with their hair on fire and be ready to play, and we're looking forward to facing another quality opponent. And uh, I, know, uh, I know everyone's looking forward to going out against the Cajuns. And the year they had, like I said, they're still Trey Han at short, preseason player of the year in their league. Uh, they got some good players, and uh, they'll be ready. And you guys as well. I mean, you guys, it's kind of the opposite. You bring a lot of those guys back and maybe not a preseason player of the year, but a guy like an Adam Mahler that's your preseason pitcher of the year in the Southland. And just, it's kind of a mirror, a reverse situation for you guys where you do have a lot back. It is. Uh, and I, I, I said it earlier, 
but I'm really proud of our veterans, the way they stepped up. I saw some guys take some leadership roles this weekend that became a little vocal after uh, the second loss this weekend and, and that hadn't done that before. And that was encouraging to see. Uh, those, those guys don't like to lose. And that's one thing that, uh, that I think our fans and everyone need to realize. Uh, those kids out there on that, on that baseball field, they don't like to lose. They're competitors. And I think we started pressing a little bit uh, when we were trying to get in the win column. And I thought yesterday played very loose and uh, all the pieces. We got the bounces, a couple of close calls. And when that happens, there's, there, in today's college baseball game, there's not a lot separating the opponents. When you get those calls and the bounces, generally and usually you're going to win. Everybody in college baseball talks about going to Omaha this week. You get a little piece of Omaha that comes right. to Northwestern, Creighton and Arkansas State. And you picked up Arkansas State because they had a cancellation, so it'll be a, a little different weekend series for you guys. But Creighton comes in as uh, 1991. They were in the World Series. Right. You know, they had Omaha rocking. It's it's been a while. You probably remember it. I remember it. We're probably dating ourselves a yeah. little bit, but it, they've been a really solid program the whole time, and they bring one of those Power Five type mentalities down here. Absolutely, Coach Service does a great job. Uh, they have a very tradition rich program. Uh, one of the best pitchers in their league, if not the country, in Warren, one of their starting guys, and uh, Fowler, hitter, one of the best hitters in the, in, the, in their league, if not the country, and they, they got off to a good start, swept uh, Bakersfield this weekend, and they're going to come in here ready to play, and we look forward to that challenge as well. And Arkansas State, uh, Tommy Raffo, I remember watching him. Uh, he's probably not going to be happy me saying this because I'm telling how much older he is than me, but watching him as a player at Mississippi State, he was a great player. And, and uh, he's a good friend of mine. So looking forward to seeing him again. And he's kind of found a little niche up there in uh, Jonesboro. And uh, they do a great job. So it'll be a good weekend, an interesting weekend, two different opponents. And, uh, but we got four straight home games, so we're excited about playing at home. And another chance as you get a weekend closer to conference, kind of shake some things out. We didn't really touch on the pitching, but Adam Aller, Evan Tidwell, Josh Aller, Jeff Stove, all those guys, for the most part, at least took you, you know, into the, the fifth inning, which on the first weekend is not awful. Couldn't ask for anything more from our starting pitch and to take us deep into the game on their first time out when they're all on a pitch count. Uh, the good thing, you look at a weekend coming up, we're not playing four games. So uh, one of those guys will go to the pen and, and will help us out. We, we got to decide who that's going to be, help us out down there to, to uh, bridge that gap between the starter and the closer. So uh, it'll be a little bit better situation for us. And again, we're just excited about playing at home and we encourage everybody to come out and enjoy some good baseball. All right, thanks coach. Thank you.